So the difference between now and 12 months ago is that consumers just continue to be in more and more control. It's not that they weren't in control before, but I think that we're handing over more control from a purchasing and from a viewing perspective. What we need to remember is ultimately that's who we need to talk to and that's who we need to better understand. And so while we've always thought about consumers, we've always thought about demographics and, and making sure that we're talking to customers, they are more in control of how they buy things and they're more in control of how they consume media. And they are consuming a lot of media. And there's a lot of great media choices to consume. So I think from our perspective, whether it be investment or planning or strategy, we really need to get to that point that it can't be just about the top of the funnel. It can't be just about brand awareness, but we need to think about how can we make sure that they understand the brand and what they stand for, but then also get it down to that purchase level and get and start to think about how can we create a transactional environment as well. So I think when you when you think about privacy, there's a, a few ways to, to go down that path. Number one, if we took it from the perspective of advertising, people like advertising, they want they, they like good advertising. And I think that the ability to use data in a way to create a more personalized experience for people to make it more relevant can actually be quite po powerful. But we've all lived in that world of, I searched for something and then two minutes later I got an Instagram ad and two hours later I saw the ad on TV and man, that just feels a little weird. <laughs> so I think we wanna be really vigilant about how we think about using that data and how we, again, going back to what we talked about earlier, the consumer and keeping them in mind with all those decisions. So we need to be vigilant about how data is collected and how data is used to ensure that the privacy aspect of it is intact. Because once we lose the trust of the consumer, once we lose the trust of a media owner or an agency or a client partner, whatever it might be, trust and transparency and openness about all this is really critical. There can't be any surprises with data. That's the worst thing that can, that can happen is that we we find out after the fact because then we're going back and we've kind of broken the trust. So I think it's really critical that we're focused on it, but I do think that ultimately it can create a better advertising environment. So I think as we think about 2020 and, and, and really beyond, we're, we, we're thinking about a few things. I think the one that we're going to focus on a lot today is around attribution, measurement models, and understanding what defines success. because. If we go back to just thinking about age and gender, it, it's not a great success story for anyone. I don't think that we've seen a lot of case studies that say a lower CPM equals better business results. It might save money, but did it actually drive business results? So what we're focused on is how do we change that dialogue? How do we disrupt the market in a way that we can say, let's drive towards things that are gonna make your business better, that are gonna make the consumer experience better, and then be able to measure that. So that's what our big focus is, is there's a lot of legacy metrics that have served a great purpose and will continue to serve a great purpose. But I think that we can, if we can think about audiences and we can think about outcomes, then we can really drive the business forward.